Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the game uh, in Dallas against SMU, please. And we expect to see you back at home uh, Friday against uh, Memphis. Yeah, I thought our guys played extremely hard. It was a hard-fought game. Uh, you know, led most of the game and, and uh, had our opportunities to win. We just didn't capitalize on them. Uh, take your hat off to, to Chad and his team. They've got an excellent team, a lot of weapons offensively. And so uh, proud of our guys and the way they competed. Uh, you've got to find a way to win those close ones. That's we've we've lost too many close games so far this year. So tough, uh, tough opponent this week in Memphis. Obviously, uh, Norvell's done a great job there, and and uh, you know got a lot of weapons again offensively. Ferguson is is uh, pretty electric with his arms. Got a lot of weapons around him. They're they're balanced in what they do. You got to be able to stop the run and the pass, and and so it's going to be a great contest for us defensively. They. They give you a lot of different looks and a lot of different fronts and blitzes. And so uh, we've got a tough test in front of us, but uh, looking forward to the opportunity. Take questions for Coach Montgomery, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. And we'll take our first question from Dan Tortoro with wakeupcalldt.com. Good afternoon. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing today? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Good. Uh, to take a look at uh, Luke Skipper, you were speaking on him a, a little bit here. Just what you could say, and in, in, in the intro for Tulsa, just what you could say about what you've taken away from your quarterback up to this point, and and just his resolve on the field. What positives you're seeing from him so far? Yeah, I thought he played an excellent first half. You know, doing doing the things that that we want him to do. He, it's still a a growing process for us, and uh, you know he's getting better each and every week. Uh, you know, we've just we've got to eliminate some mistakes, and, and we've got to be on the same page. But uh, you know, as a young quarterback in this league, it's always tough, and and uh, he's he's done a good job of handling certain situations, and we got to just keep improving. And then, as far as your takeaways from being in these close games and this hard-fought effort, where it just doesn't go in the way of Tulsa at the end of the game, you know, and, and SMU being one of those games that was 31-21 in favor and then ends up being 38-34 the other way. As a coach, what are you taking away from this? What are some of those things that you're trying to connect the dots with at this point in the season as you move forward to get those victories and those close opportunities? Well, it's always little things that make the difference in games like this. We've we've been in several of them now, and so you can always point back to a handful of plays, whether that's you know, early in the game, right after half, or, or they're late, and uh, little things make the difference. So you got to be on top of the details, and, and we got to execute at a better level. And our consistency has to uh, stay constant throughout. So, um, you know, with a young football team, guys are guys are learning and growing, but you just want them to grow at a faster pace. Thanks, coach. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Coach, I'm going to ask you one on behalf of one of our Memphis-based uh, writers who had to disconnect. Um, he's working on something on uh, Anthony Miller, uh, Memphis's wide receiver. Um, if you give your give us your thoughts on on what makes him um, uh, you know, perform to the level that he has, any traits that you've seen in him that that uh, um, that make him the, have the type of production that he's able to have on the field. Yeah, I mean he's a he's an outstanding football player. Plays with a lot of. Uh, a lot of grit and enthusiasm about him, but he's got some natural God-given gifts. I mean, he's uh, very quick and electric. Uh, he's a good route runner. Uh, he's not scared to catch the ball in traffic. He's got the speed to take it over the top, and that makes him very difficult to uh, defend. They do a good job of moving him around, putting him in different situations, and getting the ball to him in a lot of different ways. So uh, you got to know where he's at, and you got to account for him. Uh, but but he's a guy that that plays the game you ought to, the way it ought to be played. Uh, plays with a lot of enthusiasm about him, and uh, you know when he gets the ball in his hands, he's electric. Thanks, coach. Do we have any other questions for Coach Montgomery? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, thanks for giving us a few minutes today. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. All right. Thank you.